So you might be trying to figure out how you can auto scroll on your iPhone. Now, this is a pretty decent way of doing it, but keep in mind, if you're trying to go ahead and auto scroll all day, it's pretty much not going to work, but it's a way to kind of get some scrolls in if you're kind of bored of scrolling or whatever the case is. So to do this, what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your iPhone settings. You want to scroll down into accessibility, which is right here. You then want to scroll over to switch control. So go and click switch control. And what we want to do is we want to go under switches, which is right here. And we want to go ahead and make sure we add a full screen switch. So click add new switch here. You want to click screen. And all you want to do is go ahead and add a full screen switch. You can just you know tap on it and you should be able to add it. So as long as it looks something like this, then you're pretty much good to go. Now what you want to do is you want to swipe back out and we want to go under recipes. So click on recipes right here. And all we want to do is go ahead and add and create a new recipe here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to click create new recipe. You can go and name it whatever. So in this case, I'll just name it scroll or something. You can name it whatever you want to. And then assign a switch. We want to go ahead and basically click on assign a switch after we give it a name. And then when we do that, we want to click on the full screen option that we just made earlier. So click on full screen and then you're going to come into this page. Now you can do whatever one of these if you want to. But in this case, we're going to do a custom gesture. So let's click custom gesture and we'll basically have this little palette that we can go ahead and create custom gestures with. So in this case, what we can do is we can go ahead and auto scroll. So if we wanted to have it scroll up or down, you have to kind of choose a way. So if we wanted to scroll down, we basically can go like grab it and we can go like this, then we can go like this again, then we can just keep going like this as many times as we want to. And you can give it a pause. You kind of have to mess with it every once in a while. And then after a certain point, you can just stop it. So at this point, this is like how it's going to basically auto scroll for me. And I think that's pretty much good to go for me. So now what I can do is I can go and click save. And that is basically that custom gesture. Now what I want to do now, and again, you can customize that however you want to. This is just an example. What we're going to do now is we want to click back. And under launch recipe, which is right here, we want to change it from whatever it is now to that new one we just made. So you can see scroll is the one that I just labeled. So what we're going to want to do is go and click scroll. And we can go and hop out and hop out. And we are pretty much almost done here. Now what we want to do is we want to basically scroll down until we see accessibility shortcut, which is right here. So when I click here, and we want to basically have it to where when we triple click the side button, we can go ahead and invoke our switch control. So our switch control is here, it's basically the thing that we just set up. So as long as we have switch control enabled here, you'll basically know what we're doing. So now what we can do is we can go inside of the application that we want to go and test out. In this case, I'll just go into my notes application and I'll go ahead and just have it under, like I'll just have it draw something. So in this case, if I just go and choose this, hopefully this works, okay, it should. Now when I triple click the home, uh, the power button here, it should start, you know, drawing lines. So one, two, three, and you should see that, okay, it says your switch control is using the recipe. You wanna click okay. And now you'll see that the thing will actually automatically scroll. So now it'll tell me, okay, the gestures are going through. Now you can go ahead and stop it if you want to by triple clicking the side button here. So that is pretty much how to do it. Now, sometimes it may not work properly as you guys can probably tell, but sometimes it does. So again, you kind of have to mess around with it a little bit. That little pop that was coming up, it's kind of hard to go through because it's not allowing me to click out of it. But essentially you can see the lines here. It will go ahead and scroll for you. And that is pretty much how to do it. So in this case, you will have to go ahead and you know hop out of this specific panel first, basically after this you know scrolling thing is done. And then after it's done, you should be good to go. And you can kind of see that on my home screen, you can see that it's kind of doing it's like a little bit too, which is kind of funny. So it's basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.